Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I, on behalf of Graphic Era, welcome you all to this career guidance webinar. These are tough times for everybody around the world. But as they say, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Before we go any further, my only request to everybody watching today is stay home, stay safe, and follow all directives given by our government. We need to back each other up more than ever before to fight this faceless enemy. Together we can and we will make a difference. So first things first, why have this webinar? We are well aware that you guys are extremely confused, stressed, and maybe a little scared as well about what's gonna happen in the coming future. As an education institute, Graphica believes that it is our primary duty to help you out in these times of stress and solve all your queries at the comfort of your home. Graphic Era is home to a pool of extremely experienced academicians and counselors who will team up to solve all your queries. At the later stage of this webinar, we will have a live Q&A session where our team will share their expertise with you. If you have a query as well, follow these details and drop in a question. We already have a bunch of questions which have poured in, so let's start with them. So the first question popping up is, what is our advice to a class 12 student right now? Well, honestly, things could not have been better. Don't be a pessimist. Look at the brighter side of the picture. You have ample time to choose the right course for yourself and the university that suits you best. Your academic cycle is probably postponed by a month or two, maybe three, but that gives you sufficient time to explore yourself and choose wisely. So, be smart. As we were talking about the right university, this brings me to your next question. How do you choose the right university? The answer to this question is different according to different people, making it extremely subjective. Depending on factors like what course have you decided to pursue? Where do you want to go? Do you want to move out of your city? Or are you looking for options within the city? The budget you have assigned for this purpose, of course. So on and so forth. Your individual queries can be handled at the Q&A session later, but a few parameters you definitely should look into are, firstly, the type of university. Well, in India, university can be divided into four basic categories. Central University, Deemed University, State University, State Private University. Second point to consider would be its accreditation by bodies like AICTE, UGC, NAC, etc. Thirdly, one must look at the university's ranking by bodies like the NIRF, which are regulated by the central government, showing you the true and exact picture. One should most definitely spend some time researching about the placement record of the university. And here, you should be careful to not just look at the highest package, but pay attention to the average package as well. The graph of the past years should be assessed in order to find out the current trends in placements of the university. You can also look into the Alumni Connect, as this network will have an extremely important role once you begin your professional journey. Now let's move on to your next question. Looking at the flow of questions, it seems like a lot of you want to know about the driving force behind the university. Here, you must look at the background and composition of the top management, whether it is being driven by business tycoons, who shall at the end of the day make it about a profit and loss statement, or whether there is a pure academician at the helm of it. As for him, you and your future will always be the top priority. The vision and mission of the university must also be looked into so that it aligns with your aspirations. An extremely interesting question coming my way and it's something I would love to answer and the question is, how do I choose the ideal destination for my higher education? The answer to this question will compile of multiple parameters. For instance, how safe is the city? Cost of living? Life beyond the walls of your campus? Climate? Culture? Etc. If for instance, I can talk about Dehradun. There are multiple factors that make it idealistic for pursuing higher education, such as Dehradun is the capital of the state of Uttarakhand. It is a state with a rich culture and heritage and a climate to boast of. It is a perfect blend of the best of all worlds. Situated in the lap of nature, it still houses a very progressive and liberal culture driven by its youth. I would also like to mention that Dehradun is amongst the safest cities in India making it ideal for you to pursue your education stress-free. We are being flooded by questions with regards to Graphic Era, which we've compiled together. And to answer these questions, I will switch over with Professor MP Singh. I will see you again shortly. Stay tuned and make the most of our live Q&A session. Thank you. 
Good morning, dear students. Hope all of you are doing well. We have received a lot of questions, a lot of queries related to the choice options. What should we choose? What course? Which institution? What to do? And especially during these tough times. I have compiled a lot of queries and based upon that, I am going to actually take you to a journey that will suffice basic purpose of yours being here. My dear friends, Graphic Era deemed to be university is an institution that actually excels par excellence at Dehradun. My dear friends, this institution was started in 1993 with a mission of transforming dreams into reality. An institution that was actually started with very less capital but huge dreams. In 1993, the institution started with a meager investment of 29,000, one simple computer and over these 27 years of excellent journey with passionate leadership, we have today a strength of three campuses, two universities, one name Graphic Era. We got the National Assessment and Accreditation Council certificate as NAC with grade A with a CGP of 3.23 at a scale of 4. Dear friends, I would like to emphasize on two or three important things on this that National Assessment and Accreditation Council is an autonomous body under MHRD Government of India and they rate the institutions on the basis of four or five important parameters. First one is uh, the academic delivery process, planning, delivery, monitoring, evaluation, research, product, social outreach, placement and other extra co and extracurricular activities being offered to the students. In 2015, the NAC assessed 38 institutions across the country and we were ranked third in North India we stood first. And even today we have the highest CGP in this region of the country. In 2018, we got the regular deemed status by the notification of MHRD Government of India and that was the year where we got our three programs of computer science engineering, electronics and communication engineering and mechanical engineering. We got it, them re-accredited by National Board of Accreditation. We are the only institution in this region of the country with AICT approval, with deemed to be university status and having three programs accredited by National Board of Accreditation. Another feather to our cap, the National Institutional Ranking Framework, MHRD Government of India. It is a serious ranking my dear students. Why serious? Because nobody else than His Excellency, the President of India releases this ranking list. And in 2019, we were ranked in engineering category, we were ranked 104th in all India. And after IIT Roorkee, we stand undoubtedly the first in the state of Uttarakhand. This is again a kind of testimony to our hard work, to our serious efforts towards the teaching, learning and pedagogical practices and placements, research, academic rigor, output, output in terms of research and the social acceptance of the output that we produce in the region and it is accepted throughout the globe. The QS eye gauge ranking is one of the most important rankings that the students they actually look for whether the, uh, the institution or the university has a QS ranking or not. Dear friends, I would like to, uh, to apprise you that uh, in 2019, we got the diamond category rating by QSI gauge and we are among only 13 institutions of the country having received this diamond category. It's, it's again a kind of uh, accolade or it, it is a kind of feather in our cap that we already have. Dear students, uh, we update our curriculum uh, as per the knowledge needs of the, the current world and for that it's not only that we are following the university regular curriculum we are we are taking inputs from industry we are taking inputs from from the leading corporate across the globe we are talking to people we are uh, we have incorporated people on our academic uh, bodies like uh, board of studies academic council and board of management from industry uh, our major industry associations uh, uh, you can find the mention of Adobe, IBM, Infosys, Tata Technologies, Bentley Lab, Oracle, Cisco, uh, of course, Escort Chef, Dell, Wipro, etc. 
Uh, these people, they have been uh, actually helping us in designing and modifying the curriculum as per the, the modern industry needs. Uh, we are the only university in India as of now who is utilizing uh, Adobe platform, digital platform for the website and of course for training of teachers and training of students. Uh, we have recently entered into uh, uh, an academic collaboration and research collaboration with Infosys. Um, and uh, actually this has uh, helped us a lot, not only in terms of, of, of paving the path for placements, but of course uh, also for creating uh, the new generation uh, professionals, those who are ready not only for the Indian market, but for the global market as such. Our top recruiters, uh, dear friends, they include uh, Amazon, Adobe, IBM, SAP, NET, ITC, it is a range actually. I should not boast, but yes, you name a company and you will find a graphic era student there. Uh, we have some super specialized courses being offered. They are the degrees uh, with which a student can enter into a corporate world uh, having a niche over other counterparts. For example, we have the, the, the collaboration with the Tata Technologies, we have BTEC uh, Mechanical Engineering Honours with Robotics and Animation, we have uh, BTEC uh, Mechanical Engineering Honours in Automobile, Mechatronics, then uh, of course uh, a lot of uh, programs that they are tailor-made uh, by the industry suiting their needs. They, they, want, they don't want to, to invest on training after hiring, actually they train people, they come. For example, in case of Tata Technologies Lab, we are uh, the only lab in India uh, and se sorry, second lab in India uh, having uh, on board or on the panel of the academic uh, delivery processes, the people from Tata Technologies, they are coming here regularly, training the students, training the lab staff and teaching and delivering the modules. Uh, Dear friends, you know that uh, not uh, every one of us, uh, we are same in terms of intellect, in terms of genius, in terms of, uh, of, of behavior, in terms of knowledge. Therefore, we segregate, we nurture the, the aspirational cycle of every student. There is a regular placement uh, for all, we arrange for, uh, for, for a regular placement exercise where the students are identified, they are trained over four years, five years, three years course duration and then of course they, they follow the normal course of placement process. Some of them, those who aim for higher industry packages, they are trained accordingly. Those who are looking for higher education uh, abroad, they are trained separately by the students and the faculty. We have a very strong pool of faculty from uh, reputed international universities and foreign universities having their UG, PG, doctorate and post -doc, doc degrees from these universities. They are quite instrumental in training our students uh, for higher studies abroad. Last year we have eight of our students having gone for uh, international studies and higher studies master's program in various reputed US, UK and Canadian universities. Uh, those who aspire for uh, the, the PSU placements, government role and of course for higher studies uh, abroad, they also uh, prepare through GATE. We have a separate team of, of faculty members, those who train the students for uh, GATE uh, uh, preparations and uh, through that our students, they get placed in the, the Noratna companies of the country, they get placed uh, in, in, in institutions like IITs, Indian Institute of Science, IIITs for their higher degree programs. The world today, their students, uh, is uh, actually um, focusing not only on acquiring jobs, not only on performing jobs, but uh, there is a fairly good chunk of people, especially young people, uh, they are looking for their own startups. For that, we actually are one of the blessed institutions in this part of the country. In fact, in Uttarakhand after IIT Roorkee, we are the only one who got uh, a proper MHRD uh, DST sponsored technology business incubator. And uh, this TBI actually is uh, a, a kind of setup that provides full nurturing to the startup ecosystem, to the entrepreneurship and enterprise ecosystem. Those who are uh, actually aspiring to start their own ventures, they are welcome, their ideas they are welcome, we provide seed money, we provide them free infrastructure, we provide them all possible support, we provide technical expertise, we, we, we collaborate with industries from where they need help and then uh, these students they are doing really very good. For example, I may quote that one of our students, Rajat Jain, he, he is our uh, one of the you know what first few incubators, and uh, he 
has designed the world's smallest uh, and the most affordable ECG machine and for that uh, he received uh, um, uh, very very good accolade from the Honorable Prime Minister of the country. Uh, when it comes to the, the placement exercise of the university my dear friends, we attempt that each one, each student of the university, those who aspire to get a job from the university, supported by the university, we provide 100% placement assistance. Uh, I'll, I'll not be boasting if I if I'm going to to suggest a figure of 1,082 placement offers in the first placement week. That is the, the day one and day two of the placements that happened for the 2020 passing of batch. And it is believe you me all, it, it's it's a very 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 promising number. We have high end packages, 55 lakhs for uh, one of our students, 40.67 lakhs for one of our students, 43. Uh, uh, 9593 lakhs for one of our students with Adobe. Students having um, offers up to 31 lakhs from companies like Imagine. You know what? We, if, if I keep on telling all these things, I'll be taking a lot of your time. You can all get this information from the university website and believe me, they are the authentic ones. Dear students, we also provide uh, a lot of opportunities to our students, those who want to pursue uh, a higher degree from abroad. That majority of the stu students, they aspire to acquire some degree or a portion of their educational degree from uh, internationally reputed and foreign universities. For that, we have uh, collaborations with uh, some of the renowned universities uh, across the Europe, Canada, US, uh, Spain, Germany, France. Uh, we have some names to offer this, Galilee, Standen, Birmingham City University, Hoysil, Fulda, Germany, then State University of Arkansas, UK, Shatham University, uh, then Paylor's University and a lot, lot many to name for. And how these uh, actually institutions or universities, they help us in getting our students a foreign degree. For that, we have actually some internationally collaborated programs offered. They are, for UG, we have two plus two, that is for two years, you can study at Grafikara and two years, you can pursue a degree in the in a respective foreign university of your choice. Uh, uh, and you can get a foreign degree it, uh, for, uh, it, is, it is three plus one also for PG program, that is one plus one. Then uh, we have semester exchange program, we have a student pro uh, exchange program, we have faculty exchange program, plus we have international academic inter internship programs also being offered by these universities. You may ask that uh, how these international collaborative programs they are possible. Dear students, we are accredited by National Board of Accreditation and as per the Washington Accord, uh, these institutions and these universities, they actually approve our academic curriculum and our teaching and learning processes and they are at par treated there as a part of their academic curriculum. My students, they can join there as an academic program. We have uh, a lot of impetus and emphasis on research. We have very, very strong research credentials, my dear students. Uh, the faculty, the students, the professors of the university, they are engaged in uh, uh, in world-class quality research, uh, we have more than uh, 1500 uh, research publications for uh, the academic year of 19 and 20. Uh, our students, they are working on research-based products. For, I would like to, to name one of them that uh, the Honorable uh, MHRD, uh, Government of India, they have, uh, they actually, they had given a project to the students of Graphical Academy to be university and we have prepared two portals for them and it was launched by uh, Honorable Minister of MHRD, uh, Dr. Ramesh Pakhuryal Nishank at the Shastri Bhavan of AICTE. Uh, apart from that, uh, we have been nurturing the uh, India's leading uh, enterprise development program in the name of Startup India in, in concurrence with the Honorable Prime Minister's uh, scheme of uh, developing and promoting startups in the country. Uh, our students, they are working uh, very, very hard. Uh, I'd like to take one example of the design department of my university where they have formed one association uh, called Swayam and uh, this design uh, group, Swayam is uh, quite instrumental in creating and designing uh, uniforms, dress and of course certain ornamental uh, pieces for dress up. Uh, we have created the uh, the convocation dress for the entire Uttarakhand, we have created the cap of Uttarakhand. So these are a part of you know, uh, our regular co and extracurricular activities that are being offered at Graphic Radiant and Hill University campuses. Uh, apart from that, we have a huge emphasis on overall personality development 
we believe that a student has to be socially and uh, nationally responsible for that we have ncc we have nss we have uh, several groups research groups clubs social groups activity groups they are actually uh, working in in coherence with each other they are working in coherence with the societal needs the students they reach out they go talk to people train them help them uh, we have adopted villages we have adopted uh, small uh, schools we have adopted group of of of, of people uh, a group of uh, youngsters we have been training them in writing in reading plus um, uh, we have been actually catering to a lot of social causes of the country uh, we are the institution uh, in this part of the country having uh, the national record of blood donation and we have been maintaining this over a period of 3 years we contribute to all possible social economic and of course uh, regional causes of the state of uttarakhand uh, i would like to share here my dear friends that uh, during the uh, the, the the natural disasters of uh, of uttarakashi of kedarnath ours was the team that reached to the remotest and the hard hit areas of uh, uh, of of these places and the, the student team the faculty team the staff team they rendered all possible help to the people uh, those who actually were surviving during those uh, hard days uh, our focus on uh, on on academic uh, the curriculum not only limits to the classroom teaching we are fairly regular in organizing international conferences guest lectures seminars workshops webinars and a lot of activities that add to the actually academic rigor and curriculum to the university let me tell you that uh, Mm. this in, in the academic year of 2019-20 we organized uh, six international conferences and out of that one was organized by uh, an american society and that happened only in india and it was organized for the first time outside united states of america dear friends we leave no stone unturned to nourish the the, the creative potential of the university uh, i i take immense pride in telling you that uh, to our kitty of uh, all achievements we have five guinness book of world records and limca limca book of world records in various disciplines and 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 spheres of academic life uh, and we keep on continuing uh, to to add to the numbers my dear friends any institution is uh, known for its alumni its real contribution to the to the world society we a 27 year old organization our alumnus present is across the globe wherever i have been visiting my team of faculty members have been visiting uh, i am yet to to find a place where we where i could not beat one of or couple of my students we have been organizing regular uh, alumni meet to stay connected we get regular feedbacks from them we have delhi chapter we have bangalore chapter we have pune chapter we have new york chapter we have new jersey chapter we have australia chapter we have middle east chapter and uh, we are fairly meeting with these people calling them here uh, uh, making them feel at home whenever they are here and of course we get a regular feedback for the upgradation and updation of the university is curriculum and the overall style of teaching and learning dear friends as a society as 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 a educational society we are diversifying we are growing we have started a, a world class uh, school that will of course reach to the heights of class 12th I even mean, with an affiliation of ib and cbsc uh, we have started with the uh, uh, graphic era hospital that will be a part of graphic era medical college in times to come very soon we are going to get it operational that will be of course again a commitment of graphic era and the president founder president of graphic era professor kamal ganshala uh, a commitment towards the the society of uh, not only uttarakhand but of the neighboring region of uttarakhand whereby we will be creating the world class facilities for the people those who literally um, uh, had to travel from uttarakhand out going to delhi going to bangalore going to pune for their health needs uh we'll be starting very soon with the campus uh, at haldwani and this actually uh, will be catering to the to the knowledge needs of the the people those who are residing in that belt of kumau we already have a campus in beental and that campus is doing fairly well and because of that actually we have got this campus duly approved by the, the uttarakhand government 
uh, my dear friends we are there to help you we are there to to cater to your knowledge needs we are there to nurture your dreams we have been adding to uh, to the to the lives of people we have added smiles to the lives of people we have added dreams to the lives of people and this these numbers believe you me all is countless so god bless us all and uh, may god give us and you the power and the strength to transform our dreams into reality thank you so my dear students now without any further delay well, let's have the live uh, question and answer sessions the panel of experts are here they'll try to solve your problems and i believe that uh, you'll come up with some very viable and positive solutions of your life ready ladies and gentlemen welcome to the live q and a session hope you guys enjoyed the webinar and we are very happy to see the response and the questions which are pouring in before we go any further i'd like to introduce and welcome our panel of esteemed guests who are here today starting with professor sanjay jasola vice chancellor for graphic at hill university professor mp singh from management studies and akshay rajput from computer science department uh, we have a lot of questions coming in, and I'll straight away go towards them. So the first question coming in to us is, so what is the difference between Graphic Era Deemed University and Graphic Era Hill University? I'll request uh, Sanjay Jasola, sir, to answer the question, please. Uh, thank you, Sahib. Uh, as we know that the education is part of the concurrent list. So the education and the universities, they are created by central government as well as by the state government. The university which is established by an act of a state legislature, that is called a state university, and Graphic Era Hill University is one such university. Whereas, Graphic Era deemed to be university is another university which is, because it was a center of excellence in engineering, the MHRD has through a notification gave it a status of deemed to be university. The universities, they maintain their excellence and the Graphic Era has been one of them. We have got the accreditation uh, A, uh, the highest level grade A from NAC. We, were, we have been given the uh, accreditation by the National Board of Accreditation for our three engineering courses, that is Computer Science and Engineering, Electronics Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. We rank first after IIT Roorkee uh, in engineering category for National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, the second question coming in is, uh, Sir, I have two examinations which are yet to be conducted. Can I still reserve a seat with Graphic Era? Well, I'd like to take this question myself as I'm coming from the admissions side. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your question. It's coming in from Pithoragar. Nice to see people joining us uh, from Pithoragar. Well, of course, if you've already made your decision, you can block a seat for yourself right now. Uh, it's called a provisional admission, which you can do. You can sign an undertaking, cross the eligibility, and you can block a seat. Uh, a lot of students are already doing it. You can probably check out our website, and you'll see all the details there. Coming to the third question now, uh, I want to pursue civil services after my graduation. What graduation stream can I take up? Uh, I think uh, MP Singh, sir, will be in the best position to answer this question, sir, please. Thanks, Sahib. Uh, quite a genuine question that uh, even today, the students, they are looking and aspiring for these uh, administrative services of the country. It depends upon that what kind of uh, course uh, you had in class 12th 
but uh, the most sought after disciplines uh, for preparing for the civil services examinations they are uh, from the stream of humanities and social sciences uh, we offer econ economics honors psychology honors sociology honors political science english and apart from that we um, we have an offering bcom honors courses we have uh, bachelor's in business administration and of course many graduate uh, programs that we are offering at both the universities of graphical adim to be university and graphical rahel university both the campuses at dehradun and bimtal so it depends that what is your class 12th uh, interest and apart from that during these 3 years of uh, graduation what interest actually you have been able to develop but yes um, economics psychology sociology political science english honors and apart from then public administration and policy they are the papers uh, apart from all engineering disciplines they have been one of the most sought after disciplines for preparing for civil services in india thank you sir uh, let's move on to our third question which is coming all the way from bihar sir amongst electronics and communication and mechanical engineering which stream has a brighter future uh, well that's a wide question i'll request uh, sanjay sir to kindly answer that uh, this is a very genuine question for for those students who are not interested to pursue computer science and engineering and they want to go beyond computer science and engineering uh, electronics engineering uh, as you know is uh, is the branch from which the computer science has 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 emerged and uh, mechanical engineering is a evergreen branch which has been there in existence and uh, has been a, uh, a a choice for 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 so many years now uh, those uh, because now it is coming from bihar and a lot of people are are still interested in in the government jobs so uh, mechanical engineering becomes a very obvious choice because most of the government departments you talk of pwd you talk of irrigation you talk of any electric electric uh, electricity board there uh, the jobs for mechanical engineering uh, are are required and uh, again uh, for for mechanical engineering you must understand that the gone are the days when 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 we used to wear dangris and all now most of the most of the factories where this uh, uh, mechanical engineers are supposed to work uh, they are automated uh, the machines automated machines they have they have taken over and the mechanical engineers they they generally they supervise the activities of these machines so uh, but but when you are opting for a mechanical engineering course you have to be very cautious on selecting a particular institution uh, whether whether it is it is providing you that uh, state of the art technologies which are there in mechanical engineering in the earlier days we used to work on lathes but nowadays people are not working on lathes uh people are not doing it manually so you need to identify a institution where where uh, these machines are automated and i am very happy to share it with you that in graphic era we have uh, tata technologies lab we have very state of the art machines uh, for for mechanical engineers we have robots uh, we have 3d printers uh, we have uh, uh, machines which are automated so Uh, I think uh, graphic era is 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 a very natural choice for mechanical engineers. Uh, thank you, sir. So you can you should not be a little worried about that. You have to wear dangris and helmets and take big tiffins now. Everything is on stimulators, and so thank you for your answer, sir. Uh, let's move on to your next question, uh, which is I am expecting somewhere between eighty to eighty-five percent in my PCM. Will I be eligible for a scholarship in bachelor's of technology in computer science? uh well i think very shortly i'll answer this of course you will be uh, for a scholarship we have multiple kind of scholarship and of course we put a lot of stress on of course pure academicians uh graphic era has been giving scholarship for a very long time but we have scholarship up to 6.8 lakhs for your whole course so we have massive scholarships going up but as of now for your 80 85% i think you should be close to a 40000 should be on your per semester there are some terms and conditions which you can finally check down on our website and i think that to solve your question uh going on to our next question is how does graphic era add to the overall development of a student oh well that's a very good question uh mp sir if you could throw some light please thanks i uh, apart from uh, regular curriculum we put a lot of emphasis 
on the personality development of uh, the students at all levels of UG and PG programs. When it comes to personality, uh, dear friends, I would like to put it across to you that uh, there are two essential elements. One is the hardware of body and second is the software of mind. We work upon right from semester one of every program, be it a UG program or PG program, we have actually incorporated and inculcated certain modules. They are focusing on verbal ability, written English, communication, presentation, workshops, seminar skills, writing skills, paper presentation skills. And apart from that, various other out of the class activities, community activities, like NCC, NSS, clubs, blood donation camps, outreach programs, village adoption, tracks, tours, travel management, camping, and a lot of exercises. They are actually a part of a regular exercise being offered at Graphic Era, deemed to be university, and uh, Hill University as well, whereby we focus on a, a student that the output of the university as the student is not only a skilled professional for industry, but a genuine social output, a person who is accepted by the society at large. Thank you, sir. I think that will solve his question straight away. Uh, let's move on. We have a bunch of questions coming in, pouring it at a very rapid speed. Uh, the next question is, we are all quarantined at home. Uh, thank you. Please keep it that way. How can we best utilize our time? Uh, well, I'll uh, throw this question for Sanjay, sir. Uh, so if you can please throw some light. Yeah, thank you, Sahib. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer this question. Uh, dear friends, as you know that uh, a lot of you have to still appear in your, in your final exams. Uh, only yesterday, the CBSE and MHRD has said that the, uh, the exams in 27 different subjects are, are yet to be uh, appeared and the right. students will be will be clearing the, those exams so those who have to uh, clear those exams my best wishes and and prepare well for that this is one the another thing is uh, because of covid 19 uh, now we all are sitting at home and now you are fortunate to have the company of your parents so enjoy that company be with your parents and make them feel that yes uh, the, you really love them because most of the time the parents feel that the students, uh, the, their, their kids, they are out of bound. They, they, are, they are using mobiles and they, they, are, they, are, they are with their friends. But this is very high time when you are with them. Uh, give them company and enjoy them. The another thing is, uh, this is again one more opportunity where you can nurture your hobby uh, while being at home. So if you, if you want to play music, you want to dance, you want to learn something, make use of those online courses and, and enjoy and pursue your hobby. Thank you. Sahib, with sir. your permission, I would sir. like to add one please. Sir, yeah. please. Being, this is a professor's habit, you know. Of course, <laughs> I cannot avoid. Yes, sir. Uh, dear friends, one thing, add one more thing to it, and that is there is no substitute to reading. You are the most fortunate, you are the most fortunate generation of this world that a lot of material, a lot of material in this world even today is actually being poured in on a daily basis. A lot of material is available to be read. So please catch hold of a couple of good books. Read because reading makes you a gentleman. And believe me, a gentleman in this world is accepted everywhere. So read. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I see you're hearing it live from our experts. Uh, let's move on to our next question, which is coming from Delhi. Uh, well, uh, will I be eligible for admission even if I have a compartment in class 12? Uh, my friend, you need to be a little optimistic here. But on, I'll be very blunt with this. You cannot. But what you can do is you can try for an improvement, get your results. And if there is a seat vacant, of course, why not? You can do that. But you have to clear your class 12 completely. Uh, next question coming up is... So tell us about the highest placement packages offered by Graphic Era. Well, I'd like to rope in Akshay Rajpur for this. Akshay, please, if you can throw some light on that. Uh, thank you, Sahib. Uh, so talking about the highest package, there is not one. Actually, we have multiple offers like we have uh, right now. We have Adobe with us at 44.6, I guess, 44.93.95, 43.95, right? And we have, uh, last year we had SNS Designs, which is a New York based company and we had a 55 lakhs package. So the thing is that 
highest package getting a highest package is not difficult the difficult thing is you have to prepare for it so step by step preparation is done in, uh, here also and i i'm very happy that i'm a part of that team uh, in which we prepare students for the technical placements and we from the basics from the basic things to like answering a question to the advanced thing like answering a question of coding in the interview during the interview we prepare students for that and uh, you can get a highest package if you work hard enough right so last year ujwal uh, was the one ujwal kumar was the one who get a uh, 55 lakhs package this year also due to covid 19 we have a lot of interviews pending but yes we got adobe this year also last year also we got adobe at 40 and this year the package is 43.95 so i guess that answers the question sir yeah it does and of course this is the highest package in the reader by far and yeah. let's move on to some other questions uh the question is coming from tamil nadu okay uh how did the name graphic era come into existence wow this is this is a very apt question mp sir if you can please throw some light on that uh, actually the this is the philosophy of the institution uh this institution was started by uh, enthusiastic uh, leader a person who is visionary at par a person uh, having uh, excellence at par and he actually envisioned way back in 1993 after passing out his uh, graduation in uh, that is btech in computer science he thought of uh, actually creating an organization that can offer uh, certifications courses degrees programs and educating people in computing and probably he could foresee dear friend some 27 years back that the coming era is going to belong to computing going to belong to graphics going to belong to 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 automation to simulation and that's how he crafted this name called graphic era and i am pretty sure that under his uh, uh, unparalleled dynamic leadership this name has got its fame across the globe and uh, we are proud to be associated with this name that is how a graphic era came into existence and i and i'm pretty sure that it's going to last forever so i answered the question yes so you did well anyway something that is so lucky why to change it but anyway <laughs> jokes apart let's move on to our next <coughs> question which is difference between bca and bca industry integrated programs lovely we offer both uh, sanjay sir if you can uh, answer that please oh yes uh, the difference in uh, bc industry integrated is that we rope in the people from the industry that is there are uh, at least uh, two courses every year which are being taught directly by the by the people from the industry so they come they they teach and they actually uh, the they, they deliver the content and the students they are supposed to work on the technologies which these people from the industry they 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 teach uh so uh, we provide the the facilities for practicals and the internship in this uh, industry integrated program thank you sir also i'd like to mention uh, graphic era was one of the first uh, institutes to start bc i think it's going to be a 19th batch coming out this year so that that talks volume itself uh let's move on to our next question so what kind of placement guarantee do i get if i end up getting an admission at your university oh wow mp sir if you'd like to take this uh i could hear a word guarantee yes sir mm. <laughs> there was a guarantee and this word. question comes from so this is coming from madhya pradesh sir. madhya pradesh so oh, wonderful uh, uh, my dear uh, when you when you talk of guarantee i sitting in front of you i can guarantee that i can give you placement opportunity i can give you placement support i can give you placement assistance and that goes beyond 100% rest we provide a platform we prepare for you we we work hard we prepare you for the interviews we prepare you for gd rounds we prepare you for written we prepare you for technical rounds but then ultimately at the end of the day it is between you and the person who is going to interview go for it crack it sky is the limit for you and i don't see any reason of somebody who has a genuine and sincere uh, approach towards his life and who is sincere towards his cause and purpose for life will not get a placement at least from graphic era i'm pretty sure about it 
It's like this. Sir, if you would uh, like yeah. to... Yeah, so if, if I can add something into it. Uh, as uh, Professor M.P. Singh has rightly said, and uh, Akshay was also sharing that uh, in, in graphic era, we will prepare you for the best of the jobs. And uh, Amisha Agrawal this year, uh, she has got a package of 43.95 lakh rupees in Adobe. Uh, similarly, seven students, they have been placed in, in Amazon at a, at a package of 30.75 lakh rupees. And, and, and this story is, is, is not stopping here. We have got more than, uh, there are students who have been placed at a package of 20 lakh rupees. There are students that who have been placed at a package of 18 lakh rupees. There are students, number of students have been placed at a package of 12 lakh rupees, 10 lakh rupees. If I had to share, we have more than 80 students who have been placed at a package of more than 10 lakh rupees. So, uh, what we are saying is, we will prepare you for for these best of the jobs, and and this has this we have seen from our experience that uh, that the students who are who are more focused towards their studies, they they get these higher end jobs. We sir, are not uh, sorry. I would I'm sorry. Please, we please. are not stopping here. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are not only asking you or we are not giving you that facility so that you, you fetch the best of the jobs. If you want to become an employer and if you want to be a, a, a job creator, then we at Graphic Era are providing you that facility because we have the, in Northern India, we are the only university which has government supported technology uh, incubation center. So we have uh, TBI which is with us and, and a number of companies, they are, uh, the, they are being floated through that TBI by the students. So the students, if you have great ideas, come here, join us and we'll give you that platform where either you get a job or you become a job creator. Yeah. Perfect, sir. And sir, the last line to add uh, to, to suffice this answer is that the 2020 batch is yet to pass out. And my dear friend, I am going to share a statistics that uh, in the first two and a half days of the placement week that was held uh, uh, some times back, the figure was 1082. So 1082 students on the first two and a half days of placement week, they have already been placed and the count is uh, still on. A lot of interviews, they have been waiting, uh, they are pending, but then I am pretty sure that once you start working right from day one, uh, you will be left with no dearth of job. And apart from that, as Sir has said, that we, we nurture the, the, the enterprise platform of the country under the startup scheme of the government of India, DST sponsored TBI is here, Great. and we support that uh, ecosystem. And Sir, not only 2020, but uh, mm. the uh, day before yesterday, we had Hack with Infi, which is a, exactly. a, a hackathon from Infosys. Most of the company actually, these days, they uh, do hackathons to hire the students, and yeah. uh, last year we got uh, in top five. And all over mm -hmm. India in Hack with Infi. This year also students, although they are in quarantine, they are at home, they are attempting uh, this uh, contest online and they are doing the best they can and uh, we are also here to prepare them. We have not wasted even a single day for them. Right? So if you are here, exactly, we can guarantee you the best uh, teaching uh, teachers, the best uh, platform, but we cannot uh, give you something like, Ki, I want a guarantee for the placement. We will give you the opportunity. It is up to you how you have studied during your course and how you have done this. So, uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah, of okay. course. All right, let's move on to our next question. Sir, I've heard that the graphic error helps one to prepare for GATE and other examinations and as well. How? Akshay, I think you'll be the best person to yeah. answer that. So, uh, thank you. So, yes, uh, graphic error do help you in a lot of examination. For example, let's take example of GATE. Uh, we have weekend batches from third year onward in which student can come come in and join the classes and they can they will be taught for the gate specifically talking about cs we have uh, i along with uh, mr ashish Gag, we teach for the gate also and it is a weekend batch so uh, on saturday it's around from saturday and sunday it's 10 to 5 the classes goes on and we teach for the classes because gate is a different examination if you talk about there are 14 subjects which you have in your BTEC and you have to uh, learn them and you have to solve questions for that and that's why we have set aside some weekends because we don't want to disturb the weekday classes of the students. Up, uh, along with this we have other things also preparation for GRE and preparation for uh, bank and POs also so I guess. Uh, 
Akshay, you should also tell about what you achieved at Gate. People would ah, like okay. to know. So let me tell you about myself also. I'm a B.Tech in Computer Science from Graphic Era only 2010 to 14. And after that, I cracked Gate. My All India rank was 70-70. And after that, I joined IIT Delhi. And I have also worked in company Box Application, which is a Singapore-based company. And after that, my love of teaching means it pulls me towards Graphic Era and that's why I'm here right now. Thank you, Akshay. We just wanted to flaunt that. <laughs> Sorry. But coming on to the next question, uh, what is the difference between BCom and MBA? What is better? I think, sir, he's a little confused about what he should choose. MP, sir, I think you'll be in the best position to answer this. The question is, B, uh, choice between BBA and BCom. So, exactly. You know? uh, being a professor, I teach both the courses, just being honest. So, for me, both are equally good. When it comes to BCom honors, it is one of the most sought after programs by the graduates, by the students, those who want to graduate in the field of accounting, in the field of uh, company secretaryship, in the field of chartered accountancy, oh. and uh, various other options that are actually uh, offered by banks and other uh, uh, financial and institutional financial services. Oh. But when it comes to BBA, BBA gives you a very solid foundation about multiple courses, about multiple courses uh, and multiple offers, multiple options of careers in your life. BBA is a bachelor's degree in business administration. Uh, it gives you a platform on uh, a solid foundation platform on marketing, HR, finance, IB, IT, plus other uh, other allied courses, yeah. other allied courses, uh, and commerce uh, as such uh, as a discipline. It, it focuses on accounting in in, in terms of uh, financial accounting, in terms of chartered accountancy, in terms of uh, of institutional financial institutional financial market financial services. So both of them they're equally good. Well, good. Only thing is that that choose one and put your heart into it. It will result, it, it will give you very, very positive and strong results of life. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, moving on to our next question coming in all the way from Gangtok. Uh, sir, please brief us about MCA course structure and placement. Uh, Sanjay, sir, if you would like to say something about yes, that. Yes, yes, why not? Uh, as you know that the MCA, it is a uh, master's program and it is a three years program. But most of the time, because now we have more graduates uh, in computer application, so they prefer to go for MCA, and and uh, the good thing with with those guys is that they can have a literal entry into it. That is, they directly get into uh, second year of MCA yes, uh, because they are into second year, and uh, uh, the last semester of this MCA program is always at the industry. So they study uh, for one and a half years in the institution. Now, if I had to tell you about the the courses which we teach at uh, Graphic Era, uh, we we try to keep in pace with the latest technology. So our MCA program will have all the in in courses, all the advanced technologies uh, in in the, in the curriculum. And uh, the MCAs they are considered to be equivalent to BTEC. So the most of the companies when they come for BTEC Computer Science student, they also look for MCAs. Uh, the students who uh, who can clear these uh, these companies uh, exams they get job in those companies so i am very happy to share that our uh, most of the 99% of our students they have been placed in uh, different companies uh, uh, through these exams so for uh, mca uh, and the highest package which our mca student has obtained is around 8 lakh rupees yes sir Exactly. Thank you, sir. Uh, coming on to the next question. How do I book a seat for computer science? My last exam is still pending. I think this is the second time somebody is asking this. You straight away go online and you book a seat provisionally. It's called a provisional admission. There are some terms and conditions as you have to maintain the basic eligibility, which is going around. Uh, also, to book a seat, there are multiple things that we look into. There can be a personal interview, which is uh, regarded into it. There can also be your previous exams for your 10th, 11th, your pre-boards. A lot of things are taken into consideration for that. So that's the best way you can book a seat if you've already uh, made sure what university and what course you want to pick. It's not a very big deal to book a seat right now. Uh, let's move on to our next question. Uh, so how about uh, BA in political science? Please tell us about the course. MB, sir, I think that's your domain. Uh, it's a wonderful stream. 
political science and political studies uh, actually offers uh, a, a very nicely drafted and crafted curriculum it's about the political structure of the country it's about constitutional studies it's about the the, the politics it, it's about the, the the social and economic structure of the country it is about the structuring of the of, of the bureaucracy it's it's about uh, legislature so you get uh, an entire uh, uh, outline of the end of the, of the entire functional uh, authorities of the country uh, in in first year and in second year third year you have to opt for certain specialized papers like uh, like the political system of india political system of us political system of uk that will give you a, a kind of uh, outline of the international political relations international relations uh, the, the the wto regime of uh, of today's politics the the united nations and and apart from that uh, this field actually focuses on uh, on international tours and travels um, uh, going there understanding the the international relational between the between the people cultural relations of of, of people across the countries uh, when it comes to the career options of this program it, it is a wonderful uh, uh, program to prepare for uh, civil services and apart from that you have uh, uh, almost every media house every print house every publication house most of the most of the the, the ministries they have uh, specialists in this area focusing on international relations focusing on political knowledge you can uh, you can become an article writer you can become an editor uh, sky is the limit uh, when when you work hard on this field but believe me all it, it is uh, an upcoming public policy and public and political science is, is a wonderful stream thank you sir i think that should solve his question uh, next question is so which is the best specialization in computer science okay there are so many that i am confused sanjay sir if you would like to throw some light on that uh, yeah there are there are a number of specializations and uh, what i feel is uh, uh, if you want to be part of cs then your logics were very should be very very clear so this is the very first and foremost requirement for pursuing computer science and engineering uh, now the, because the question is is for the specialization there are a lot of specializations so there will be cloud computing specialization there will be security there will be uh, ai data sciences uh, data science and ai and ai computer science so uh, it depends on 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 your choice uh, like if i if i share uh, if you want to be be part of a specialization in data sciences then it involves a lot of mathematics so if you are if you are a mathematics guy if you like mathematics and you want to you want to play with numbers then you must go for uh, you must go for data sciences ai as you know because now ai has entered into our day to day life you want to get abreast with the latest which is happening and you want to contribute into it then you must go for ai uh, a lot of people they they, they love to to breach into uh, they want to enter into others domain they want to see what is happening in in in, in others network or so if you want if you are that type of and you want to hack something then cyber security is one such a specialization so it depends on on your choice but now i have uh, akshay with me so i think uh, exactly. he would like to add something to it uh, thank you sir so uh, we have ml and ai we have cloud computing information security computer science and technologies computer engineering and our main branch uh, which i like absolutely data science and ai so as sir said that it depends on you what you want to do machine learning and ai okay what what is machine learning and ai basically so machine learning and ai uh, you must have bought some books of amazon or flipkart and then there you have seen that someone is, amazon is telling you what to buy amazon is recommending you that is called a recommendation system that that that's cost of billions of uh, rupees that that gives the business to the uh, people so whatever you are studying whether it is machine learning whether it is cloud computing you have to learn that in a way that you can create business for the company you are working for for example if you talk about data science and ai and if you can manipulate the number not i'm not saying that you manipulate in the wrong way but if you can see a number and you can tell that okay what what to do what in the business then you you are a data science guy if you love numbers you love maths as sir told you if your logics are good then you are a data science guy 
uh, let me take an example of Walmart. So Walmart has large number of huge stores around the world and they have huge uh, selections to select from. And now if uh, they saw from their bills that what person likes to buy. And according to that, they saw that what a person if, likes to buy the beer, he, he will also buy a diaper. So they put beer and diapers as, uh, on the same shelf. Now, if we think about that, we cannot say that uh, a person who is uh, buying a beer will also buy a diaper, right? But the data said that you have to put that on the same shelf and their sales actually go up. Uh, talking about cloud computing, everything is on cloud. Cloud is just someone else's computer, right? <laughs> but what happens is that you cannot afford a machine means uh, what happens if you uh, buy a machine of four lakhs or five lakhs and after a year or two years it goes outdated and you have to buy a new machine. So what cloud computing does is it provides you a platform where you can use a system or which you require and pay as you use. And the computer science uh, guys, if they know cloud computing, they are everywhere. They are in information security, they are in machine learning and AI, they are in data science and AI and everything is connected. So basically whatever branch you choose, it should you should be focused on that. Whatever specialization you want to do, you should be focused on that. And that is the main thing. Right now, if I, uh, if anyone asks me what branch will you choose, what specialization will you choose, I would go for, of course, data science and AI because that's my stream also. And plus, the main purpose of data science and AI is that if your main purpose is uh, placements, I'll tell you it is 1.5 times more than anyone else. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys for that. Also, I'd like to mention here, Annually, Graphic Era has these workshops where you can come in and have hands-on training right after your class 12 boards. I'm not really sure when it's going to happen this year, but you can stay connected to us, uh, watch our websites and our social media handles, and very soon you'll see the workshops coming in. Try your first-hand training there, and probably you'll be in a better position to answer that yourself. Okay, coming on to the next question. Sir, how are the sport facilities at Graphic Era? Okay, it's coming from Haryana. I should have guessed that. Uh, like everything else, we have state-of-the-art facilities for sports as well, indoor and outdoor both, uh, whether it's cricket or soccer or badminton. We have indoor badminton courts as well. We have basketball and we have we have every, mostly everything. Also, we are coming up with a big sports arena, which will be indoors and which will have most of the things there. It's If you want chess or carrom or billiards and pool, we have everything. So the sports facility, you don't, don't worry about your sports facilities. We have a team of coaches as well. A lot of our students every year are playing for the national and international domains as well. So you're in pretty safe hands when it comes to sports as well. And also we focus a, a lot on overall personality development. And I, we believe that a lot of students who are staying inside, a lot of students who are staying around, they spend a lot of time doing that. So we have fantastic sports facilities as well. Moving on to our next question. How many seats are there in Beat XCS? I want to know your seat matrix. See, we have a lot of departments, we have a lot of domains which are uh, diversified there. So what you can do is you can go to the website and check it out there. So whether it's a CS or then it's a cloud computing and then there's data science, so they're divided there. And it comes from the UGC, so I'll suggest you go to the website and you can check out the matrix there if you want to see it that way. Uh, so next question, according to you, what specializations are trending in MBA as of now? MP, sir, I'd like to throw that on you, please. Uh, thanks, Saib. It is, it is a stream that is, of course, uh, ever selling in this world. So. Uh, most of the engineering graduates, most of the medical graduates, medicine graduates, pharmacy graduates, all of them, they are actually, um, they, they are actually um, um, opting for this program of MBA. Um, when it comes to the, the conventional or evergreen uh, branches of MBA, they are marketing, finance, HR, IB, IT. Uh, strategic management, then sales and distribution management, plus uh, retail, banking, insurance. But apart from that, um, uh, given this uh, world of information, flow of data, a lot of movement, physical movement of goods and services across the globe, uh, the numbers are actually uh, playing an important role. So uh, we have added a couple of more disciplines to our MBA program sure. and that is uh, business analytics, MBA business analytics, MBA um, uh, yeah. artificial intelligence and of course uh, one more is that is uh, MBA data analytics.
Uh, since uh, the, the entire uh, global business is so interdependent and complementary complementary nowadays a lot of a lot of movements of goods and services across the, the the borders to meet the human requirements across the globe the numbers are important today and the majority of the business decisions including production movement investment uh, and then disinvestment etc all of them they are depending upon these numbers so uh, business analytics and data analytics they are now uh, playing important uh, role and therefore uh, the, there is there is a huge amount of focus on an mba degree with uh, specialization certification in uh, data analytics and business analytics and um, uh, because the business decision making is depending upon this uh, that is the beauty of uh, data sciences that uh, we it will be derive numbers we derive the sales percentage we derive profit we derive uh, the, the sales trends we derive the production trends on based upon these numbers so uh, data analytics and uh, artificial intelligence both of them and business analytics of course is one of the streams but yes uh, marketing finance hr uh, they are the, the conventional yet one of the most sought after programs in mba uh, if i can sir, add sir, something please, to it uh, uh, <coughs> you did not tell them about the the package which our mba oh. graduates are, are <laughs> and you will be very happy to know that if you are pursuing yeah. mba from graphic era any stream uh, irrespective of any stream uh, you will get a you are ensured to get a very good package uh, this year Uh, our 15 students they have been placed at a package of around 16 lakh rupees and they are they are working multinational that they are going to different countries so uh, and this this is one of the examples there are number of other students who have been placed in other multinationals so Uh, if you join well, graphic, for that matter we have we have our <laughs> students working with royal bank of scotland my i have my students working with reserve bank of india Amazing. so but uh, we have a plethora to offer yes. and as i have been telling that we provide the finest placement assistance yeah. it's 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 now the the person for the person who's sitting on the other side of the table how it takes but but yes uh, you are in safer hands very safe hands yeah. thank you sir uh, moving on to our next <laughs> question we still have a lot of questions uh, popping in Uh, I am not a computer stream student. Uh, can I still pursue BCA? Will it be taught from scratch? Sanjay sir, would you like to throw uh, some light oh on yes, that? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I think the the BCA was made only for those guys who are not having their computer science as their uh, so basic stream. Uh, so if you are if you are not from computer science but you have an interest in computer science. Uh, join bca and uh, uh, bca or even btech we'll start from scratch because we teach from zero and uh, we we will will make you an expert in that this this i can assure you thank you sir also uh, maths is compulsory when you are in class 12 right, maths for class 12 you need mathematics for that also next question coming in is uh, where in dehradun is graphic era located so i'm pretty sure you're not from dehradun where you are you're coming from Okay, it's coming from Maharashtra. I hope you guys are doing well from the COVID thing, which is happening. Uh, but our lush green campus is situated in Clement Town's cantonment area with Rajaji National Park at the background. So we are located very, very beautifully. Also, we are right in the heart of the city, unlike a few universities which are like in the outskirts. So I'll not talk about that. But we are very, very close from uh, the. ISBT, which is probably five minutes away. We are ten, fifteen minutes away from the railway station. We are twenty, twenty-five minutes away from the airport. So we are right in the heart of the city, and we are in the lap of the nature. So that is where we are absolutely located. Also, you can go to the website, check out. We have our virtual tours and everything, which will give you a very, very nice picture of that, about that. Uh, next question coming up is: I have certain constraints in regard with my financing, my uh, with financing my education. Is there any assistance that the university can offer? is there any loan provision provided by gu i think so i'll uh, punch in both of you but i'll start with sanjay sir to okay. speak about that okay uh, the universities as you know they they charge the fee uh, on a semester basis so every semester the fee is charged and for those who cannot afford this uh, by themselves the, the bank loans are available so we will provide you all necessary assistance in getting a loan to you Uh, but besides that we are we are also coming up with uh, with with the with the monthly installments scheme so even if uh, you if if you cannot pay the entire fee at once uh, you have you will have an option to pay monthly installments right so would you like to throw some light on this uh, of course yes sir 
when it comes to uh, assisting for uh, your financing of education at graphic era probably um, we are possibly extending all possible help to the students those who are actually in need of finance um, uh, we issue uh, loan letters we issue admission letters we we issue request letter to the bank so that uh, the students they actually they get all possible assistance from the banks as well as uh, as far as the bank loans for education is concerned apart from that we have entered into um, a very noble actually cause sir and that is uh, uh, an arrangement for uh, monthly payment so, of the fee it is probably one of its own kind arrangement that uh, you can pay the, like you pay for if uh, you, you pay the emis you can you can pay the monthly installments of the right. fees yeah, thank you very much. Sir. Also, I'd like to mention here, uh, Graphic mm -hmm. has multiple scholarships which are available, of course, on your academics. There are up to 6.8 lakh rupees scholarships, so virtually you're studying free if you're scoring well. Then if you're in Graphic or Hill University and you're coming from Uttarakhand or any hill state, you're getting a straight away 25% concession. All girl candidates are getting a 10% concession. Then there is uh, army concession. Of course, there is the defense concession. Then there is uh, concessions for if you have a sibling here, there's an alumni. There are multiple things that you can go through. And we've already, uh, we've all also, from a very long time, we work very, very hard on making this if you've scored very, very well on your class 12th, we make sure that you are not hitting. We are, I, I'll very proudly say that we are placed in a beautiful bracket where I think it should not be a very, very big, heavy burden on you. But even if it is, there are multiple offers, as Sir was talking about, there are multiple uh, things that you can do, a bank loan and monthly facilities. I think you should be, you can straight away call on our toll-free numbers and they'll be in a very better position to uh, assist you with that as well. Uh, next question coming up is, Sir, I want to pursue a career in finance. What options do I have at Graphic Era? MP, sir, I think it's the pretty same question, but if you can uh, throw some light. No, I would like to know that, uh, rather I would like to answer it in two parts. One is the, the finance studies in PG level, and other is at uh, UG level. Sir, I'm assuming this is for UG. For UG. So. But then, of course, for, for PG also, we have uh, the, the program of... Uh, Masters of Business Administration with a specialization in finance. So. I would like to emphasize here that uh, through our uh, two professors, faculty members of the university, we have uh, a very, very strong association with the uh, stock exchange of the country, whereby we directly enter into certification courses and programs offered by the stock exchange. Apart from that, uh, all possible help is extended uh, to the to the finance stream students to get direct trading trainings, direct uh, online trading uh, trainings, plus the, the the core banking and non banking non core banking solutions they are being offered to every interested student those who offer for MBA with a specialization in finance. Now when it comes to the UG. Uh, if someone really wants to pursue a career in finance, we have two streams. One is uh, BCom Honours, another is BBA. When it comes to BCom Honours program, uh, we have specializations in banking, insurance, uh, uh, institutional financial services, and of course, a stock market. These are the specializations that are being offered in the regular program of BCom Honours. Similarly, in case of BBA also, we offer a BBA with finance as a specialization that is actually third semester onwards for this three-year program. And that actually gives you a very, very solid foundation to pursue any finance career in your life. Uh, second, we have uh, some uh, special and very, very strong arrangements for uh, additional certification courses uh, being offered at Graphicara Deem to be University and Graphicara Hill University. Both in both the programs of BCom Honors and BBA, they are the uh, the international certification courses being offered by ACCA, Association of Certified Chartered Accountants, right, the UK, and CMA, yeah. that is Certified Management Accounting by uh, United States of America. These are the certification programs with specializations and super specializations in third year, whereby if you clear all these papers and you and you uh, get the entire credits offered by these programs, you will be entitled to pursue a finance career in more than 100 countries across the globe. 
Right. And these countries actually and these bodies, they are thoroughly accredited and ascertained by these bodies of uh, ACCA and CMA. ACCA is a UK body and CMA is a US body. Plus, uh, the, the, the entire uh, Indian banking sector, let me tell you, being a professor of management, that our banking sector and our banking system in this world is the strongest, I believe. Therefore, the entire uh, banking system of the country is actually open for anybody who is actually opting for a career in finance. And uh, uh, let me tell you that uh, this year uh, we have our students working with names like Ernst & Young and the graduates there from BBA as well as from BCom Honours. So there's a bright future waiting for you. Thank you, sir. Uh, also, I think we are running a little short on time, <coughs> but we'd like to uh, take this a little quickly. Uh, sir, we heard at the webinar that the top management plays an important role in every university. What about the top management at Graphicera? Well, I'm very, very happy that you're very observant and you're listening well to the webinar. But Sanjay, sir, if you'd like to talk yes. about the top management here. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll be more than happy to answer this question. Uh, our visionary leader, Professor Dr. Kamal Ganshalaji, who is the president of uh, Graphicera group of institutions, uh, he himself takes class every single day. So you can see the involvement of the, the management in graphic era. Uh, not only him, but most of the senior people in the, in the university, they also take classes. I can give my own example in this COVID time when, uh, when everybody is at home, uh, we are conducting online classes. And so far in computer networks, I have conducted seven uh, online classes of the students now when 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 the senior management is 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 in touch direct touch with the student so you can understand that we know we know our student very well yeah yeah thank you sir when it comes to the, the to the institution or the fabric of the institution what is the best part of this university is that it is a teacher own organization every single management member is a teacher the president of the university goes six uh, six days a week to, to the class. The the vice chancellor, the chancellor, the registrar, the pro vice chancellor, the deans, the directors, all of them, they hit the classes almost on every day basis. One, two, all of them they are not only teachers, they are players, they are trackers, they are uh, actually uh, they they believe in team building, they believe in team working. We go for hiking, we go for picnics, we we go for family functions, we go for gatherings, we go for alumni meet, and each one of us we are so connected with the students that the students they find uh, themselves at, uh, that that they are at home away from them. Every single uh, member of the university is actually accessible and available to the students. The, the president of the university resides on the campus, that is the best part of it. He, he is available, the vice chancellor resides on the campus, he is available. The, the, the top professors of the university, the deans and directors, everybody. The decision making is so fast. The outreach to the students, to the parents, to the guardians, to the people from industry is so fast that, that actually we take decisions that when people they cannot visualize, we have already taken a decision. So that is the, the, the actually engagement of uh, the, the top management of the university and probably this is the strongest, the strongest USP of my university. Thank you, sir. So in short, they're extremely approachable and they're being run by pure academicians. Uh, we'll quickly move on to our next question. Does Graphic Era provide residential facilities throughout the course? How about the infrastructure? Well. See, I would not like to boast about and show you pictures, even straight away take our virtual tool and you'll be amazed to see how big we are. Also, yes, we, the residential facilities are throughout the year, the top-notch, state-of-the-art, highest security possible, single, double, triple seaters, AC, non-ACs, and with uh, multiple cuisines from all over the world. We have more than 6,000 capacity. But uh, I have to tell you this, that the infrastructure is top-notch. It's a lush green campus, very, very be beautifully sculptured. And you will be amazed to see the virtual tour, if you, which is available on the website. That will solve all your questions. So it is not just a photograph that we are showing you; it's a virtual tool that you can this see it live. And also that the this live Q and A session is happening in our own studio for the journalism and mass communication department. But that this is one tiny part. Uh, go to the virtual tour and you'll see everything there. Uh, second question coming up is from Delhi. 
Sir, who will be performing at the Graphist this year? <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lovely question, well, brother. I'm not very really sure <coughs> when that's going to happen this year. But we have a major legacy uh, that has been maintained. Also, uh, there have been performers like Edward Maya, and there's been Don Diablo, and there's been Jillianair, and Farhan Akhtar, and there's been Arijit Singh, and Mika, and they've, they've been everybody. And you, you know, name, it's like you a, name it's, it's been like a three day. We are confused. Who, do we have somebody who's left <laughs> out here? Uh, but I'm pretty sure you stay connected and you will be updated very, very soon. I'm very, very excited uh, myself also to understand when and who's going to come this year. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, the next question is. Do we have exchange programs with reputed foreign universities? Of course we do. I think Sanjay sir will be the best person to answer this. Okay. Uh, because we are the pioneer in this region, so, so. we have a number of uh, collaborations with, with, all, with, with a number of universities across the, across the globe. There are a number of universities in US, in Canada, in Europe, and in other part of Asia and all. So, uh, and, and we, we have those exchange programs with, 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 with all of these universities. The, the list is very exhaustive. You can go to the website and you can check it from there. Uh, but but with, all, with most of these universities, we have an arrangement where uh, the students can study partly in, in our university and he or she can complete his course in the, in the university abroad. So that twinning two plus two, one plus two, or three uh, plus one, three plus three plus one, one. all these summer are exchange events, programs as well, so. these are there. Besides that, summer exchange programs are there, internships are there. So uh, if you if you wish to uh, have some internship in some other university abroad, you can. Similarly, we allow people. Uh, uh, the universities to send their interns to our university, so you get a international exposure in uh, being at Graphic Era. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, also, I think it is time uh, that we'd like to come to the end of this Q and A live session. I'd like to thank uh, the esteemed panel available with us today. Thank you for your time, sir, and thank you for everybody who's online and listening to us. All the best. Stay safe and stay home. Thank you.